Fear Zone Channel, your channel of terror. Good evening everyone, and now we go to the story of today, which is Mr. Fabio, and this happened to him in the city of Presidente Prudent, which is in the state of Sao Paulo, and at that time, that was the year 2008, Mr. Fabio had 25 years. And it all starts like this, I live in a farm with my parents, and I live in a rural area outside the city, but at a certain time of the year, the harvesting of sugar cane crops happened in my city, and a certain day, one of my neighbors rented a room for one of these people who worked cutting sugar cane. But what happened, one day, my uncle, who lived in my neighborhood, told me a horror story, and he said that he saw a strange creature near his house at night, but my uncle said that this animal did not look like a dog, but the beast had a black coat and a thin coat. My uncle went to his room to get the rifle, to scare this animal away, but when he came back armed, the beast was already gone, after that my relative went to sleep, and as soon as he woke up, he saw his dead chickens in the yard, and his daughter's window with scratch marks, like from some ferocious animal, and so he got very nervous, thinking that it was that animal that he saw near his house. But one night I was driving home from work in my dad's car, and then I got into my neighborhood and started driving along some dirt roads, but what happened was that a creature was crossing the street in front of my car, and I saw that it was some kind of animal very similar to a dog, and with a black coat, just like the one my uncle described to me. Well, I didn't wait for this creature to cross the street, and I sped up the car and ran over this animal to run it over. The animal kind of stopped in the middle of the street and couldn't run. It just stared at my car. What happened is that this animal, I can't tell what happened, but the creature looked like he tried to get up and stand, but he stood up, and it was pretty fast, but I ran over this creature. This animal rolled over my car and fell behind the car. I felt like I hit this animal hard with the car. I looked back and saw this creature standing up on four legs with great difficulty and trying to recover from the accident. I backed the car up to run over this beast again, but the animal managed to run and escape being run over, and the creature entered the woods, then it beside the dirt road, and disappeared. I waited there for a while on the street, but I saw no sign of the beast again, and then I drove away with my car. After that day, about a week passed, and it was a certain afternoon, I saw my uncle talking to the cane cutter in front of a farm. I went to talk to them about the creature, and getting there, I started talking to my uncle, and a cane cutter who had several bandages on his body, and he also had his arm in a cast. This man said he was drunk and left a party at night, and ended up being run over, and now he was away from work for a month. Well, I also told them my story, that I had run over a strange creature on the dirt road a few days ago, and it was definitely the same animal that was at my uncle's house. I told them that I backed the car up to catch this animal again, but it managed to escape. My uncle said that this animal could be injured in some corner in the bushes, or maybe it even died. At this moment, the cane cutter disguised his conversation. He said he had something important to do, then he left walking down the street with his crutch and went away. But I stayed talking to my uncle the whole afternoon that day. But then, almost a month went by, and I always saw the cane cutter in front of the farm. He always greeted me. This guy had also healed from his injuries and went back to work on the cane fields. But one weekend, this cane cutter told me that there was a party at the mill where he worked, and that there would be lots of music and free drinks all night long, and that there would also be many beautiful women there, and of course, since I was young, I said that I would go with him to this party, and this guy had a kind of a good car that I could drive to the place. Well, arriving there at about 10 p.m., this guy stopped the car in front of my farm, I got in his car, and we took the road towards the mill. 
However, we passed through several dirt roads, and suddenly we took a dirt road in the middle of a sugarcane field, and the car started making a strange noise, and the cane cutter stopped the vehicle and said he was going to take a quick look at the engine. I stayed inside the car distracted, and after a while, I looked out the car window, and to my surprise, I couldn't see him anymore, and since he had been gone for a long time, I started calling out to him. I looked at the dashboard of the car and saw that the vehicle key was not in the ignition. I thought this was all very strange, but I looked at the sugar cane fields very frightened. But soon the noises stopped. I had a strange sensation. It seemed that someone was watching me, and I looked for the car key and opened the glove compartment of the vehicle and found a perfume inside and took the glass bottle and curious, as I liked perfumes very much, I started to smell the perfume bottle. At that moment, I heard a noise of something running, and I looked quickly to see what it was. A strange creature came knocking on the car window all aggressive and stuck its arm inside the window trying to attack me. I was taken by surprise. I was taken by surprise. I was frightened by this creature. At that moment, my reaction is that I grabbed this perfume bottle and threw it in this beast's face. At that moment, this beast stopped trying to attack me, and it was moving away, and it sneezed out of its snout. At that time, I realized it was a werewolf, because it had a face, like a dog, and its ears were big and pointy, and its snout, like an animal, and it had all dark fur, and this creature was standing on two legs like a man. Seeing this creature in front of me, I was without reaction, just looking at it, and very scared. This werewolf didn't know what to do, whether it tried to attack me or not, but this creature kept running its hands with its big nails across its face. It was desperate because of the smell of perfume, and the werewolf scratched with its very strong hands in its eyes, I think it even hurt itself, because its nails were very big and sharp, and the smell of perfume wouldn't leave its face. But quickly, this werewolf went to the middle of the reed field, but he ran unbalanced and fell, and after a few noises in the field, he disappeared, and that dirt road became totally silent again, but still, I was terrified and didn't know what to do because this werewolf could come back at any moment. Although I was afraid, I started to remember this beast, because of his eyes that were lighting up, and for sure it was this werewolf that I had run over on the road more than a month ago. After a while, a car slowly passed by on the road. I noticed there were four men, and they were playing in the street. I took advantage and asked these men for help, and they were cane cutters, and that they were coming back from a party in the center of town, I asked them if there was a party at the cane mill. These men said no. They lived in the lodgings of the mill. Then I left my friend's car on the road and went with these pedestrians by car. I paid the gas for them, and with that I got a ride to my house. But I was thinking a lot about this friend of mine, and worried, I spent the rest of the night thinking about this creature, and I also couldn't understand why my friend said there would be a party at the mill, and this was a lie. I wondered if he had done it by choice, or if I was wrong about this party. However, at dawn, and my friend who disappeared on the road didn't show up, I started to worry that he was caught by the werewolf on the road, but I didn't say anything to anyone in my neighborhood about this story because I could be blamed for that man's disappearance. A few days later, I went to ask the owner of the farm about that man who disappeared on the road because he lived in a room on this gentleman's property. The owner of the farm told me that such a cane cutter appeared at dawn and took his things and left without giving any satisfaction to anyone. And the owner also told me something that left me amazed, that this cane cutter had his face all scratched, and that they were very serious injuries, as if he had been scratched and attacked by some ferocious animal. I was amazed that the man told me, and with these clues, I immediately thought 
that I had run that werewolf over on the road, and that the sugar cane cutter had turned into this creature, and so he tricked me to get back at me, because he stopped the car with me on the road, and left me alone with the werewolf, but with the perfume accident, I turned the tables on the creature, and managed to escape. Well, and to me that pawn is the suspected werewolf. And you, what did you think? Was that sugarcane cutter really the werewolf? For the old man on the site, he said that the suspicious man appeared on his site with his face scratched, and that werewolf on the road also scratched his face when I threw the glass of perfume in his face, so the question remains. Well, thanks for watching the video, and if you liked the story, subscribe to the channel and leave your liking to receive new videos. Until next time.